After the box office flop that was known as Spider-Man 3, Sam Raimi returns to his horror roots in 2009 with the film Drag Me to Hell. And what makes this film effective is that it's suspenseful. There's not too many jump scares, but there are quite a few moments of dread. Now, I do have an issue with the film, which is that the main character is just too likable. And in some ways that works, because you want to see her succeed and get rid of this curse that was placed upon her. But at the same time, you feel bad for her, so when the ending happens, you feel a little bit cheated. I would have liked it better had maybe the main character started out as kind of a jerk. Had it been more like Happy Death Day, where the main character of that movie wasn't particularly likable, she wasn't a particularly good person, and then once the horror starts, she has to figure out, you know, she has to kind of have this character redemption arc. That would have worked a little bit better, or maybe... You know, considering the way the movie ends, maybe they don't maybe change throughout it. They do kind of get what they deserve. So it's the fact that the main character was just so darn likable that that kind of sets the ending back a little bit. So you kind of just like, you feel bad for this character, which works, but also yeah. this movie does have a really good balance of horror, but also camp. It can be really campy at points, but not so campy that it's face palmy. It's more of campy in like an homage way, like an homage to like really cheesy horror films from like the 70s and 80s which is kind of what they were going for just a little bit more modern film technology at least modern for 2009 and the story is pretty well written as the main character tries different methods of appeasing this demon and getting rid of the curse which gives it high stakes with limited time because she only has three days to try and get rid of this curse and it really helps move the film along with the pacing and when the film gets intense it really gets intense it's effective it's the right amount of camping it has a really good story so overall, I would give Dragman to Hell an A-minus, a 9 out of 10, and a 4 out of 5 stars.